In today's video, I am going to explain anatomy of muscles on back of body. I will explain from superficial layer to deep layer. Let's get started from the most superficial layer. I'm going to explain two muscles from this picture. First one is this one, this big muscle. This is trapezius. Trapezius. Next one is this one. This is latissimus dorsi. These are very big muscles on back of body, but these two guys are not back muscles. They are on back of body, but they don't move spines. Well, trapezius may move cervical spines and head a little bit, but this guy doesn't move whole part of spine. Main function of trapezius is to move scapula. How about latissimus dorsi? What is main function of latissimus dorsi? This guy moves shoulder joint. Thus, these two guys are not typically back muscles. When back muscles contract, they move spines, but these guys don't. But the thing is, they are on back part of body. Okay, now let's go to deep layer. Trapezius and latissimus dorsi are gone. I have to explain shoulder guard muscle again. This is it. This is rhomboid. You can separate rhomboid to two parts. This bigger part is rhomboid major. If there is major, there should be minor. So this tiny one is rhomboid minor. Rhomboid minor. What is main function of rhomboid? It moves scapula. Again, it's like trapezius. Rhomboid is on back part of body, but main function is to move scapula. This guy barely move thoracic spines, okay? Let's go to a little bit inferior. What is this muscle? This is serratus posterior inferior. Serratus posterior inferior. This is also not a back muscle. It's kind of core muscle. Then you notice serratus. Yeah, serratus. There's another muscle on lateral part and anterior part of body. What is it? That's serratus anterior. This is it. This is serratus anterior. Serratus anterior is the most famous muscle among serratus muscles, right? You barely have had serratus posterior inferior. That's on back side of body. And it's superficial from erector spinae. These guys are back muscles. Now let me explain back muscles. You see back muscles. Well, these are erector spinae. Erector spinae. You can separate erector spinae to three parts. Okay, the most outer part is iliocostalis. Iliocostalis. Middle part is longissimus. The most medial part is spinalis. And depends on where the level of spine is, these names can be different because if iliocostalis is around lumbar area, that can be iliocostalis lumborum. If it's on thoracic area, that can be iliocostalis thoracis. You know what I'm talking about? But basically, if you hear about erector spinae, you can divide to three parts. Iliocostalis, longissimus, and spinalis. Easy way to remember is from outside to inside. It's I-L-S, right? Iliocostalis, longissimus, spinalis. 
easy way to remember in English is I love spaghetti. It's from outside to inside, right? Ilio costalis, longesimas, and spinalis. I love spaghetti, right? So if you are not native English speaker and if you know a good way to remember in your language, please leave me a comment. Eric to Spina. Then let's go to a little bit superior. This is it. We just saw serratus posterior inferior. This is it. Serratus posterior inferior. We have inferior. There should be superior. Thus, this is serratus posterior superior. This is superficial from erector spina. You see erector spina here. And superficial from erector spina, there is serratus posterior superior. Oh, I misspelled it. This is serratus posterior superior, not inferior, okay? Then let me explain two more muscles. You see the muscle partially. This is it. This part. This part is splenius services. Splenius services. Then this one is also splenius muscle, but it attaches to head. Thus, this is splenius cactus. Splenius cactus. These two muscles are so important for neck movement and neck stabilization. These two muscles can be easily tight. It's, it can be very, very tight. See, there are many muscles around the backside of body. Let's go to the deepest layer. Now, many muscles are removed. Let's see this one first. This is martifidus. Martifidus. You don't see martifidus on right side. So right side is deeper layer. Left one is kind of a second deepest layer. Martifidus here. And you see muscles that connects spines and rib cage. This is levator costrum. Levator costrum. There is short fiber and long fiber. So it is levator costrum, long head, and short head. Long head and short head. Okay, martifidus and levator costrum, long head and short head. And what is this one? This is deep to martifidus. This is rotator muscle. rotator muscle. This is very deep muscle. So, because these muscles are very deep, they cannot move spine very strongly compared to erector spinae. Erector spinae is very thick. See? Erector spinae is very big muscles. Thus, these guys can move spine very strongly. Martifidus, tiny muscles. Rotator muscles, tiny muscles. How about levator costrum? They are also tiny muscles. Because they are tiny, they have more important role to stabilize joint and spines. Think about it. Big muscles are for big mover of joint. Tiny muscles are for tiny movement of joint plus stability of joint. This is very important. Tiny muscles must not be ignored. They are important for stiff joint and they are highly related for joint pain. Thus, I take care of these muscles as equally as famous big muscles. In today's video, I explained muscles around backside of body, from superficial layer to deep layer. If you liked today's video, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.